After months of postponement due to the coronavirus pandemic, the Igbo sociocultural group Ohaneze Ndigbo again is enmeshed in another fresh crisis as a faction disowned the emergence of the celebrated diplomat, Professor George Obioza. Aneta Felix tells us more on the intrigues and power play threatening the soul of the group. The election of Professor George Obioza as President General of the Ohaneze Indigo called for a huge celebration at the Dan Anyam Stadium in Owere, Imo State. But like a reenactment of the events of 2017, a controversy in the leadership of the group has begun. The election of the ninth president was contested by a factional group who insisted that it was illegal and influenced by governors of southeast states. Four years later, the election of Professor George Obiozo on Sunday, January 10, 2021, is again in contention by yet another faction. A day before the election on Saturday, January 9, 2021, the faction held a virtual election in Enugu State. Chairman of the Electoral Committee, Richard Ozubu, then announced former Emu State Commissioner for Information, Youth and Sports, Chidi Ibe, as President General of Ohaneze Ndigbo. As Uche Okuku, former Secretary General of Ohaneze Ndigbo, explains. The purported election that took place on the 10th of January 2021 at the Ware is illegal, is unconstitutional. The reason being that the purported electoral committee that was set up in the EMOB of Ohanese was set up by an EMOB that was not a product of law. EMOB is uh, a body, one of the organs of Ohanese. Besides an argument against Obiozo's election process, Factions also point out the congratulatory messages sent to him by President Muhammadu Buhari as an indication of his disloyalty to the people. But political analyst Chris Mwakobia dispels it as false. Uh, every Igbo man is proudly Igbo. But what is important here is the fact that what affects the Igbo in Nigeria uh, affects, affects all of us. And, and, and that is why uh, maybe the president hastened to congratulate him. I, I think that those who are beginning to raise uh, issues about conspiracy should stay off it and allow him function. Both Okuku and Uwakobia say they have hopes that the crisis in the group can be resolved either through diplomacy or the rule of law. George Obiozo now seems to have a lot to chew to ensure unity and cohesion among the southeast region. Annetta Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.